Hey guys, Ben here from the Surf Clinic. Just letting you know the forecast for the weekend. Looks like um, 5 foot and 10 seconds on Saturday, 6 to 7, 7 foot and 11 seconds on Sunday. So that means roughly uh, waist to shoulder high Saturday and kind of just over shoulder, maybe to head high on Sunday. Um, winds are going to be onshore both days, about 16 miles an hour. So you're looking at Big walls of white walls of white water, basically fairly organised waves, but um, going to be a little bit of bump with that onshore wind. Um, not ideal, but it's definitely surfable for beginners and improvers. Not quite sure it'll be big enough to hit the reefs going on Saturday. Might do on Sunday. And um, further down the coast may have something, but you'd want to make sure you know what you're doing if you're heading down there. And um, for but for beginners and improvers, the hinge is bang on, I think. Um, Tides are good too. Tides are low in the middle of the day, so you can pretty much surf all day Saturday and Sunday as well, which is nice. Um, what I want to talk about today, as far as tips goes, is um, managing your board in the water. What you see a lot of beginners tended to do is um, they'll do a couple of things on the beach, jumping up and down on their board. If you're going to practice popping up or whatever on the beach, make sure you do it in the sand, not on your board, because it can really damage your board. And the other big thing is um, dragging the board out by the leash. Two things, you don't really have control of your board. If if a big wave hits you, it's going to drag you backwards as well. Try and hold on to your board right in the middle, across the widest part of the board. If you have your hands there, it'll set you up to jump on nice and quickly. And face the board wherever you're going. So if you're heading out to sea, face the board out that way with you. What you can do then is actually use your board as a tool to help you go further out. Um, the other big thing is don't start to paddle until you're out deep enough. So wait till you're about chest depth before you start paddling, otherwise you just wear yourself out. Um, the other big thing is, if you're learning, you need to catch lots and lots of waves. If you start heading out for big waves, you don't get as many waves. So when you're starting off and improving or on bad days, say like this weekend where it's not fantastic, stay on the inside, catch 60, 70, 80 waves, fix some aspects that you're struggling with, and then when the good days come, you're going to be flying. Bigger wave count, the better you're going to do. Once you've got a high wave count, what you're looking to do then is is hold the length of time you're riding. If you can work on that, then suddenly all your skills will come. People tend to focus to get to the big waves too often. The problem with big waves is they hide the mistakes you're making. So if you can't surf in small waves, you're making mistakes in big waves. You're just getting away with it. Um, so work on the skills. Like I said, on weekends like this, it's reasonably small, not fantastically clean, so it's time to kind of work on things. Alright, that's it for this week, and we'll see you around the beach. Talk to you next week. Bye.